Okay, thank you for watching my channel. My name is Marie-France Garon and you are on Healthy Cooking for Food Lovers. What we're making today is something very, very special uh, because this is something that we have every Christmas at home. I'm in mum's kitchen today and I'm doing mum's recipe which uh, she learned from her mum as well. So this is a big tradition in our family. The meat pie. We're making meat pie for Christmas. We call it tourtière uh, in French. And you will see it's quite a simple recipe and it takes just a few ingredients. So today what we're going to prepare is our meat that's going to go in the meat pie. And then tomorrow we're going to build all the, the pies. We're making 12 this time. So there's a lot of work here. So we're using pork and beef and I have two pounds of pork, two pounds of beef. This is uh, approximately 900 grams of each, but really, a little bit more, a little bit less, it's okay, you use what you have and it's gonna be fine. So we put that in our pot here, but we don't put any oil or anything, just it, we don't use any oil for this recipe. So this is not gonna fry. We put it in our pot completely cold and we'll start heating up slowly when we have all our ingredients. So here's our meat in the pot. We have one cup of breadcrumb, whichever breadcrumb you have. We have two onions, medium-sized onion, all in. And then we're gonna add two cups of water. Here, we're just gonna add all this. We're gonna start mixing a little bit. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of salt. So I, I measure it like this. So that is two teaspoons. And I have also one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of uh, cloves. And that's all our ingredients here for our meat pie. Now, I'm gonna start mixing all that together and I'm gonna put the fire on just a little bit and then start it to simmer very slowly. So everything's here in the pot. Uh, we mixed it all together and it's gonna simmer for one and a half hour, but we need to uh, stay close by and stir it regularly. Uh, no sticking at the bottom, please. So go slowly and one and a half hour here in the pot. Now let's prepare our dough for our pie. So we have uh, four and a half cups of flour here. So first we mix our dried ingredients. I have one a teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So we mix this with our flour and then we'll um, just sort of mix it all properly first so it's all um, through the flour. Next, we're gonna add our uh, shortening. So we're gonna use one pound in uh, that recipe. So I'm just gonna cut it in uh, slices. So this is our cutter here. Uh, this is what we use to mix the shortening with the flour here. And this is really old, it's my mom's. Uh, but if you don't have one of those, you can just take two knives and cut, 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 cut. This one is just a little bit quicker here. So we're gonna start just cutting through like this and mixing all this flour with the shortening. Just like that. And then of course um, it gets stuck a little bit and then we get it out like that and we keep going. So this is the texture that you want. It creates some little 
lumps, some little balls, you know, some bigger than other one. And what's important is that your shortening is cold from the fridge when you uh, put it in the flour because we don't want this to just warm up too, too much. So it's important that you're ready with your ingredients and you do all the steps quite rapidly. And it, it just works better when we roll the, uh, the dough. So the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a little hole in the middle here because we're gonna add some wet ingredients and so we want to add it right in the middle so this is ready now so here we have one cup of water we have three tablespoons of white vinegar and we put it in the water and then we also add one egg and we put it in the water and beat it together just so it's all mixed just so it's all mixed together and we're just going to add all of this here to our little hole that we did in our uh, flour and now we just have to start mixing it all All our ingredients are here, and but we don't want to warm up the dough too much. So I start with the spoon, but I don't mix a lot, just to make sure that I get all this flour that's at the bottom to be uh, wet, to be mixed. Okay, let's see how that goes. It's going to stick to your fingers a little bit, but that's okay. This is just perfect. So we're going to start rolling. If you're, um, if you're taking a bit longer, you can just cut what you need and put a little uh, paper on top and sit it in the fridge or in a cool place. Uh, meanwhile, because we can't have this warming up too much. Okay, so far it's easy. If you never make pies, you gotta try, it's not complicated. Uh, you see the recipe is quite simple. And now it's the rolling, I'll show you how. But again, it's quite easy. So we're gonna add a little bit of flour to our board here. And now, again, we're just gonna make it already in the shape, round shape and then we can get going voila flatten it a little bit and roll again we put a little bit of flour here on our rolling pin and then just like this in all the different directions and now it's time to um, turn it around because we, uh, it starts to stick a little bit here and it's normal that it's going to do that and now what we want to do is just turn it the other side a little bit more flour turn it around like this and just roll so you just watch your your shape of your uh, dough here and just to make sure that it's going to fit in your now, to put it in your plate, again, it's also very simple. We just take our dough and then fold it in two, exactly two, like this. And then we bring our uh, plate here and then we just take it like that and sit it in our plate. It doesn't have to be perfect as I said I'll show you what to do if you see there was a little crack here so we pat it together here there's a little bit missing and it doesn't matter at all because I'll show you we're gonna put the um, the top uh, part after so it doesn't matter so we just make sure that it is sitting there's a little hole here you can see no problem I'll show you what we do we just cut a little part here and stick it there. 
So it doesn't have to be all perfect, perfect. There's another little one over there. I will use that one and put it there. And okay. All right, now we take our plate. Be careful not to um, disturb too much. And we're just gonna go around and cut all this extra like this. My little patch just left, but it's okay, we can fix that. You don't want it to look like a pie that was bought at the supermarket and it was made with a machine. It's homemade. It's okay that it's not perfect. So our meat is all prepared and um, it's cooled down as well uh, because it just works better. And we're gonna just add all our meat here to the meat pie. I'm not too sure if I need all of that. We'll see how much is there. Just a little bit more maybe. So at this point, I'm just gonna brush a little bit of water on top here of our crust. So it's going to help uh, the two parts to stick together when we, um, when we put the other crust on top, just like that. And then we're going to leave that aside. Okay, we're going to roll our second part of our pastry to put on top of our tortillas. Now, I'll show you how to top it up. And there's a few little things. So we take this and fold it in two like I did with the other one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and make a little triangle here take that out put it away and just a couple of cuts like that so our uh, steam will come out when it cooks and it helps so we just Yes, and of course we're going to cut around like I did before, just cut all the extra. So I see just there's a like a little hole here, you know, when I just folded it, but I'll, pa I'll patch it a little bit like that and it's going to be all good. Now what we do is just press it a little bit with the fork on sticking together. And we will finish with a little bit of water on top. Just a little bit of water, not too much. Just brush it like that. Uh, that's gonna help our crust to be golden. Ready to go into the oven. It'll be at 375 Fahrenheit, 215 Celsius uh, for probably about 25 minutes. You just gotta watch and see when it's all golden on top. That means it's ready. Et voilà, our tourtière is ready. Now it's time to see inside. We're just hoping that it stays together when we take it out, we'll see. So we're just gonna cut a nice piece like that. So we let it cool down for about one hour, one and a half hour before we cut. It's just easy to get your uh, nice piece out. So we're gonna go like this and like that yeah i think it's holding it's holding together now yes i can see look at this voila it's all coming out Woohoo! perfect et voila it's perfect it smells amazing and uh, we serve that with some mashed potato and some nice vegetable but we also always always add some fruit ketchup so if you want to find this recipe it's here on the youtube channel um, it's called mum's fruit ketchup and we always serve uh, tourtière with a little bit of fruit ketchup on the side it's the best so et voila a tourtière a meat pie it smells beautiful and we're gonna go and try it bon appetit